Hi there, my name is Jan Rössler. I'm a technical trainer at the SMA Solar Academy. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the new Sunny Boy Storage 5.0. This battery inverter is designed for adding single and multiple high voltage batteries to new and existing systems. The Sunny Boy Storage 3.7, 5.0 and 6.0 are single-phased AC coupled battery inverters for parallel grid operation. The installation process is very easy and can be performed by just one person. But now let's start to see what's included in the scope of delivery. First of all, we have the quick reference guide. Please note that on the back, you will find all the relevant information to connect to the inverter, as well as to the Sunny portal. Also, we have left a bit of free space here for you to put your passwords in. Also, this is a bag with all the parts that will be used to complete the installation. This is the AC terminal plug for the connection to the public grid. This is the AC terminal plug for the secure power supply. These are the jumpers for the DC terminal connections. Here we have the three interface plugs for battery communication. On the left, we have the interface plug for the connection of the switch for the secure power supply. On the right, the communication plug for the optional battery backup box. And also the components to use the optional PE connection if required by local standards. Then, We have the wall mounting bracket. And finally, the inverter itself, of course. Here on the left, we see the DC connection ports where we connect the battery itself. This is the battery communication connection port. And down here, we have the network connections for Ethernet connection. This then is the AC connection port where we can connect the AC cables that connect us to the public grid. And on the very right, the AC connection port for the secure power supply. Now let's see how easy it is to mount the inverter to the wall. The wall mounting brackets must be mounted with at least three screws. As you can see, I have prepared this for you already. So now I'm going to mount the inverter on the wall. To mount the inverter, I recommend holding it at a bit of an angle to connect the lower part first. Now on the left side, please fix the inverter to the bracket with the M5 screw, which is included in the scope of delivery. Now I'm going to insert the AC cable into the cable gland. The AC cables need to be stripped so they can be correctly inserted into the AC terminals. As you can see, we have already prepared this for you. The next step is easier if you connect the AC plug to the inverter first. It should then be tightened with a 3.5 mm flathead screwdriver. Now connect the two AC cables, face and neutral, to the AC plug. As you can see, the flathead screwdriver comes in very handy for this also. The grounding cable must be connected separately to an equipment grounding terminal between the washer and the clamping bracket. Then tighten the screw with a Torx screwdriver TX25. Before we can start connecting the battery cables, we should insert the jumpers into the DC terminals. For this, please follow the recommendation of our technical information for Sunny Boy Storage approved batteries and battery communication connection. In our case, the instructions for a LG Cam Resu 10H battery.
These are the DC cables of the battery. Please ensure the right polarity of each cable and then connect the correct cable to each terminal. And this is what we are going to do now. All we need for the communication between the battery and the inverter itself is this CAN bus communication cable. Now we have already stripped the endings of the canvas cable. Unless provided as part of the battery, SMA recommends using a cable such as a CUT 5E or similar. Note that the cable is not provided in the scope of the delivery. Next I'll pass the cable through the intended cable gland. Then I will connect the cable to the battery interface plug according to the quick reference guide and to the battery manufacturer's instruction. Insert the battery communication plug into the socket bed one until it clicks in place. Please press the communication cable with the cable shield into the shield clamp. Just like that. For our today's example, we choose the LG Chem Resu 10H battery. Here you can see the already pre-wired unit. Of course, the LG battery is not the only high voltage battery that our Sunny Boy storage inverter is compatible with. Another alternative would be the BYD B-Box high voltage. Now, for the network connection, please pass the network cable through the cable gland. Then connect the RJ45 cable into the Ethernet port until it clicks into place. SMA recommends connecting the communication cable from the SMA energy meter or SMA home manager directly to the inverter. The connection to the internet and SMA's online monitoring platforms can be achieved by using the built-in wireless LAN or by using the second ethernet port. The new Sunny Boy storage comes equipped with secure power supply. This means that even during grid outage you can power a socket. If you need guaranteed power supply without any comfort losses, you can select our optional battery backup boxes even as a retrofit. In our system we use the secure power supply. I have already mounted and wired a surfeit mounted socket with an additional standard switch, for example a light switch. The switch is necessary to enable the secure power supply. In general, you need a three-wired cable for the AC secure power supply connection and one two-wire cable for the switch. In our example, I chose only one five-wired cable with the right cross-section to reduce wiring efforts. Please insert the cables through the intended cable gland and connect them to the plugs. Also here, connect the AC secure power supply plug to the inverter first. It should be tightened with a 3.5 mm flathead screwdriver. The grounding conductor must be connected to an equipment grounding terminal as well. The plug that's connected to the switch is still missing. So connect it to the inverter at the communication assembly. Make sure you hear an audible click when connecting it to ensure it's properly installed. We can now complete the installation by closing the inverter's lower cover. During this process, please ensure to hold the lid and then plug the display cable into the socket on the communication assembly. Position the lower cover at a slight angle, tighten all screws crosswise. To make the installation easier, I recommend to tighten the screws in the center first. And now we tighten the swivel nuts. That's it! The physical installation of the Sunny Boy storage with the integrated secure power supply is now completed. The inverter now just needs to be commissioned via the web user interface and registered to Sunny Portal. You can view a video showing you how to commission your Sunny Boy storage inverter by clicking on the link in the description below. I hope this video has been helpful in showing how to install the Sunny Boy storage.
I am Jan Rössler, Technical Trainer at the SMA Solar Academy. Thank you for watching.